Are you struggling to find tops in your dating life? Or you just wanna be able to attract more tops so that you have options? Well, look no further because in this video, I'm going to teach you on how to attract more gay tops. Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. It's Stephen Bremland. And in this YouTube video, I'm going to be giving you my personal tips on how to attract tops so that when you are in the dating pool, you have a lot of options to choose from and that you can also attract the right tops that you want. So before we do get into the video, I do post other similar videos about gay dating, gay tops, gay bottoming, gay education. So if any of that interests you, then make sure that you hit that subscribe button and press the bell button so you get alerted every time I upload a video instantly. If you have any gay questions or you want some gay content, you can always head over to my OnlyFans, which currently has a sale on. I will link it in the description of this video down below. And of course, you can always check out my socials, all at Stephen Brenlin. The first thing that you need to do to attract more tops is to adjust your clothing. So clothes can be a great asset to a person because clothes can create a new version of you. I go out and I wear different styles of clothes every day. So those people that see me on Monday might think that I'm a complete bottom because I'm wearing a really bottom outfit. But the people that see me on Tuesday might think that I'm a top because I'm wearing a really masculine outfit. So the point that I'm trying to make is if you want to attract more tops, you need to show that you are a bottom pretty much. So it'd be really cute if you bought some shorts that exaggerate your assets your peach obviously only do what you're comfortable with your clothes speak for you they say what kind of person you are and what you're looking for if you've got abs wear one of the crop tops typically speaking a bottom will wear outfits that show a little bit more skin and show off who they are another way to attract more tops is to please put on your grinder profile that you are a bottom a lot of people don't put their roles on Grindr, which I can understand why, but if you are actively trying to attract and search for tops, you should put in your profile description what your role is, which is a bottom or verse bottom, whatever your role is. And also when you're in a gay area, such as a gay bar, make sure that you're opening Grindr up because that means that your profile will update with the location that you're currently at and then all the tops that are around you will go on Grindr and they will be able to click your profile because you're near them and they will be able to see that you're a bottom because you put it in your profile. Eye contact. If you want to give a signal and a message that you like a top, you need to be confident with your eye contact. A lot of people will think that they're giving long eye contact, but they're not. It is recommended by a lot of people, including myself, to give at least a three second stare, and at most a three second stare. A lot of people do this. Now you may think that's cute, but it's a quick little glance and it, when we look at people, we think it is lasting longer than it actually is. And that's because we're not used to sharing eye contact. If someone is interested in me and they look at me like this, to me, that will come across like they've just glanced at me and they've looked away. You need to do this. You need to stare at them for three seconds lock that eye contact in. That will give the top a message that you are interested in him. Use eye contact skills on the tops that you want. You need to be a gay icon, okay? No top looks at bottoms who have no career, don't educate themselves, don't have any style, no motivation, okay? You need to be a person that's got your life together. You have your style, you have your career, you have your confidence, you have your friendship group, you're busy, you're doing things, you're powerful and you're motivated. When I see a person who's motivated and hardworking, I find it so attractive rather than a person who has nothing going on. Because if a person has nothing going on, they come across like they're not stable in many ways, which can lead them to being emotionally unstable. And we don't want to be attracting those people in our dating lives, at least. So have your shiz together. Okay, now tell me who's guilty of this. I am guilty of this as well. <laughs> but don't give it up straight away. Don't give up your bussy straight away. Don't give up the peach straight away to the top. If you let a guy get with you on the first time that you meet him and you share that night of intimacy and you bottom for him, yes, that's fine if you're just looking for one one-off hookups. But if you're a person that likes to hold on to flings, and have tops that keep coming back, even regardless of what you're looking for. When you give up 
your bottom straight away to the top, he will value you less, okay? And here's why. When you make a top weight several occasions for that bottom, he will want it so much more. And instead of him having his way with you and then never speaking to you again, when he waits for you and waits for you and waits for you, that makes him value you more. So even if he tops you, he's gonna wanna come back for more because he waited so long and he wants more of the good. I have been in that position where I have been with a guy and I've given it up the first or second time that I've met him, but it's just not good because when you do that with a guy, they start to think that they can disrespect you and that you're always going to be there for them at their beck and call and that you're going to always be available to them. And then they're gonna also start seeing other people because they know they've got you waiting on the side. Don't give it up too quick. And trust me, this will make tops so much more attracted to you because tops know that there are bottoms out there that give it up straight away, but tops, because they are masculine energy normally, and we're all men, we have a lot of masculine energy. Tops like to hunt, they like to have a challenge. So if you're the bottom that makes them work for it, they're all gonna come to you. If you want to attract more tops, please make sure that your attitude is good. <laughs> Meaning, don't be one of those loud and leery bottoms or just people in general. You need to behave in a mature manner. Now, I'm not saying be quiet, but you should learn that you can be confident, but not arrogant. If a person is really loud and they're trying to get all the attention on them constantly and constantly, that shows that they have a lack of validation for whatever reason. And it can, it can be a little bit off-putting, but then if someone's really quiet, that sends a wrong message. So just make sure that you're confident, but you're not overly confident. You're not pretending to be something you're not. Okay, and if you want to attract even more tops, you need to make sure that you're in an area with tops that can find you. Because for example, I lived in Northampton in England. The gay scene is extremely weak there. And England overall, I think is a very straight dominated country along with many other countries across the world. The world is pretty much straight dominated. But I had no idea about there being a gay world, okay? So I moved to Barcelona, Spain, and it's the complete opposite. When I walk out on the road, I will see more gay couples than straight couples. Everything is opposite and it's more gay dominated here, which means that a person like me no longer feels like I'm the only gay person. I feel like I'm surrounded by my people. So regardless of where you are, just make sure that you're in an area with gay people. I understand that some people can't get up and move countries, but, there are gay cruising areas, there are gay bars. You can find areas that have your target market. <laughs> okay guys, that is how to attract more tops. Let me know how it goes for you. And if you have any more tips, feel free to put them in the comments down below. And also subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want to keep up with my posts that I post every week. And other than that, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone. Mwah.